Something has changed because of that guy from Mississippi State. Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott has changed the culture, changed the face of the team. He's almost in spite of Jerry Jones, in spite of everything around him. He just walked in, day one, first preseason game, and he looked like he'd been doing this for about five years, like he'd been the franchise quarterback. Mm -hmm. He says the right thing. Oh, that's he what's most does impressive. the right, what's that? That's what's most impressive yeah, about yeah. him, I think. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut yeah, you off. Right. If you hear him after, he, he, he never takes credit upon himself. No. Nope. He always gives the credit to, 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 to the people line, who make him made, feel the it. defense and things yeah. like that. And that's where you're just like, yeah, he's the real deal. He's the real deal. And Zeke, in a very different way, is the real deal. I worry about Zeke off the field occasionally because he's been involved in some things I don't love. Mm. But the point is, when it's time to ball, he can ball. Yeah. Right? And he is – he's – I think he's become the best running back in football. Is, there, is it even? Well, I, I, I mean, won't I, argue with that now. You, I, yeah. He, okay. Right now, he is. And, and 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 I don't know why he's not in the conversation for MVP. Everybody, he, I know it's a quarterback uh, it, it award. It would be. But those two the, are vying for but, MVP. I think well, they're 50-50. But but you know what I think? I think more so Zeke allows Dak to be that much better. Don't don't get to take that the wrong way. But because he that he takes some of the pressure off. That's why I'm saying go. Zeke should be a little bit ahead of Dak as far as MVP because and, anybody can turn around and hand the ball off. And remember, you, you know what I'm saying? Like the, you could put the whole offensive line in the MVP discussion. Oh, of yeah. course. Right? Of because course. they make both of them look better than maybe they deserve to look. Oh, of rookie. course. Of so course. the the whole the, the, the mix of this it, it feels so real to me. Mm -hmm. It feels special to me that I'm embracing the odds makers right now. I think they are the team to beat in the NFC. I think they're going to the Super Bowl. And again, this is always, it, it hinges, as you well know, on health. Can they, they just lost one of their cornerbacks. Morris Claiborne's going to be gone for, I don't know, five, six weeks. Mm -hmm. And they lost Barry Church, their starting safety. Maybe they can get away with without both of them for five or six weeks. But the point is, that the team believes in itself like the Cubs had started I was just going to say that. It feels like And this. I hate it to think Well, it's that true. Way. It's true. <sighs> but, hello. So, so yeah. like, what, what about that guy that's, that's like, okay, let's just say I got some ointment. Mm -hmm. And there's a little something. Yeah. Got little wings on. Yeah. Got a bunch of eyes. A bunch of eyes? Yep. That, that's really and he, scary. And, and, and he gets into the ointment. Yep. See, you forgetting the fly that's going to be in the ointment. Mm. What's that? Jerry? You boy, know Jerry going to get in that ointment. Boy, you <laughs> is the captain of the petty table, boy. I tell you. You, you he, know Jerry. Nah, Jerry. I, I don't you think. You know Jerry's no, going to do it's this. No, it's not. It's a new day, man. And like he said, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I believe it is a little bit cubbish in the sense of they, they're young. They don't they don't know yeah. the, the past history of it. And again, I think with with Junior over there running the show, because that's who I think Steven. is really Steven was Steven. Yeah. When, with, with him over there running the show, I think that's what they're playing more into. I don't think it is Jerry no more. I think Jerry. What about that third son when he come back? Tony Romo Jones. <laughs> and listen, <laughs> you to, me, to me, Tony Romo, and I've watched Tony Romo on the sideline, I think Tony should start thinking about his future maybe a little bit beyond it. I, I wouldn't be surprised, and it's just me throwing this out here, I wouldn't be surprised if Tony, you know, his son, he he, he can always get a job there. He could, Tony looks like an offensive coordinator to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm just saying, you know. Oh man, here we go. Come on with it. How many guys you know walk away from $24 million? Uh, Jerry got enough money, he can give it to him and keep it rolling, especially with this guy, dude, especially the contract you got on Dak. He, he, but he, lo he loved Tony. He lo yeah. I mean, he, he lo I'm, not, he do I'm not saying that he loves Tony, I mean, uh, Stephen Jones and his other kids as much as he loved him, but that he has a, sp a special affinity. Of course. Didn't he give him? How much he give him? He gave him a bunch for, for Tony. <laughs> he gave him a bunch. He gave him a, bu <laughs> a, a bunch of money. <laughs> and because here's the thing, he believed in Tony Romo when really Nobody a whole did. lot of people did not. But you know why? I'm going to interrupt you real quick. Tony is big box office. Yes. Jerry's all about the marquee yes. value, mm. about selling tickets of and course. selling viewers. Right. Because Tony will light it up, good and bad. Yes. High risk, high reward. Mm. Dak Prescott, not all that exciting to watch. Unless you're me watching as a Cowboy right. fan, he wins. Right. He's stable. He's poised. Mm. He's he's trustable. Right. Tony's not trustable. And plus, Dak, so far, I should say, is there right any thing. wood here? I'll knock on that wood. He, he's been pretty durable, too.